Hi, welcome to a director's cut of the No Holy Man video. So it's been a long time since I've uh, watched this back, so it's going to be interesting to go over again. Um, I think the kind of theme of the story here was uh, having it, the, the lyrics sung from Mike's perspective, and uh, we, we picked for the video uh, a kind of a fictional uh, evangelical figure. I think there was a case in the, the media around about that the time that we were writing it. I think there were th three or four uh, evangelicals who had um, uh, kind of fallen from grace, shall we say, uh, and that gave us a good idea of, of what to build the, the video around. So people pretending they're something, um, uh, and it turns out not to be the case. Right, let's get to it. So this was uh, originally I'd asked Mike to give me a photo of his house but we, I think he sent something back. I don't know if it came from a movie, where the house came from, but really liked uh, going in through the big window. And this essentially is Mike sitting back at home in his full stage gear, watching TV. A lot of attention to detail went into what we were all wearing. Trying to tie the animation into the lyrics as much as possible. This is uh, him now in front of his crowd preaching. And then uh, Mike giving his opinion. And then we go showing the other side of the guy. One minute he's preaching, the next minute he's getting up to a whole lot of fun. And here comes James, almost saintly like. This was really exciting for us. I remember making all of this and even James, the attention to detail, you get the Dream Theater logo on his uh, uh, arm. Um, he'd cut his hair at that time as well. So he'd sent us some photographs that we animated it around. It was really quite exciting. And up and down to the drums, same bass that I use, TK's guitar. Well, everybody looked pretty cool. This is a cool scene. Big P. <laughs> Just trying to obviously tie it visually. So I think the animation allowed us to do a lot more than we could do in terms of doing a real video without a huge budget. And this is a cool scene. I love the fact it was in the, the, uh, the ring. Mike and I came up with this idea to have him on the picture to say that he was the devil, essentially, or something like that. I thought it was pretty cool. And now he's almost getting up and springing into action, but we don't know. Uh, we don't know what. How mean and moody we all look. Then another cool scene for James. That's a fire and brimstone. Bit of anger in those eyes. Actually, the um, now that I remember this, the lip syncing of this video was one of the hardest things to do. Um, probably drove the animator absolutely ballistic. Here's Mike losing the rag, throwing the TV out, thinking, right, I need to do something here. This is pretty cool with TK and Ali doing their unison part. And then in the background, here's Mr. Uh, Evangelical up to no good again, ladies of the night. Pretty cool. And there's the clue, look at the ring. Where did we see that before? This was a twist in the tail that we built in. Picks a driver, oh dear, accident, big crash. Is he alive, is he not?
a lot of people said is this was like the uh, the ending of Ghost. Uh, no, um, no shame about it. Always loved that ending of the movie Ghost. Patrick Swayze and Willie Lopez getting dragged off. That kind of scene. And then uh, the newspaper comes. Watch the hand. So did you get the twist in the tail? So here's the twist in the tail. And if we forward it on, look at the ring on the driver. That whole end section, we're back at Mike's house. There's a newspaper being delivered, a headline. And then a bloody hand with that ring picks it up. So that was the whole... Uh, that was the whole twist in the tale. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found that uh, informative and uh, stay cursed.